Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to. That's why I will lift up my voice. Yeah. I'm prophesying someone's miracles with him. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will Yeah, yeah, yeah. share with you the mysteries that are responsible for certain strange occurrences in the lives of men and women please I want you to pay attention tonight I want to teach you the mystery of exemption write it down the mystery of exemption my spirit is overjoyed you see when the Holy Spirit begins to rejoice through my spirit like this is because prophetically he has seen that the word will be received. Hallelujah. You will receive something tonight. I assure you. Hmm. Psalms 50. The mystery of exemption. Psalms 50 verse 15 and 6. Mantles have been given to the church. Mantles have been given to the church tonight. Mother Kai's arising from the gates of the church for the kings to be born, for the victory to be born, for the mantles to return, for the graces to return. Yeah. Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali, oh, yeah. Tonight, 
David arising here tonight Man of power arising from this place here tonight For the kings to be born, for the mantles to return For revival to return, for the power to return Hey, ali ali yo, Chant in the spirit. That's what God is doing already. There will be a mighty baptism of mantles tonight. Believe me. Tonight is, is like an initiation into a realm of reality, a realm of possibility. There is such a provision in the kingdom. There is such a provision in the kingdom that men can be exempted. There is such a possibility in the dealings of God with man. Please be seated. Psalms 50, verse 15 and 16. If it's possible for us to have amplified, that's great. Otherwise, no problem. You are immersed in a strong atmosphere of God's glory because of something you will hear. Brothers and sisters, God is not playing games with us. I want us to believe Him. Everyone read as I begin my teaching tonight. Just be sensitive to what the Spirit of God is doing inside and outside. Those outside, please, I want you to understand that there is no difference as far as the reach of the anointing is concerned. One, two, read. And call on me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall stop there 15 stop there go back please 15 so it's a two-way thing you have your own role to play your role is please keep it there honor and glorify me then he says call on me in the day of trouble and i will deliver you the shocking scripture that the lord led me to is verse 16 read if you're a christian 16 please go ahead and read Are we Bible students? If God does not open your eyes to this thing, bah, you won't see anything. Believe me, revelation is a spirit. If there is no amount of cramming scripture and Bible study that gives you the spirit of revelation, God has to open the eyes of men. But unto the wicked, the word wicked there is not sinners. The idea there is unto those who are determined not to walk with me. He said, what right have you? We're talking about right here. We're talking about a legal access. What right have you to recite my statutes? I shall not die. I shall not die. I, will, I won't be poor. I will be rich. He said, what right have you to recite it? Everyone is talking, just talking. I won't be sick and you are dying. I won't be poor. It's clear you are getting poor. There is a mystery. Confession is a powerful provision but under certain conditions. See, let me tell you something. Half truth can destroy you like a lie. It can do the exact same thing a lie does to you. That's why Satan is not afraid of using half truth. Because it makes no difference to him. He says, what right have you to recite my status? So everyone is confessing. Wealth and riches are in my house. Everyone is confessing. Oh, I can't get into trouble. I, I can't have accident. It's impossible. And you are watching yourself die per second per second. What right have you 
what right have you that's the point you should circle media not do wicked what right have you to recite my status or take my covenant or pledge on your lips talk is cheap brothers and sisters but you see the reason why many believers mock themselves in the presence of the world is we do not understand the systems of the kingdom say the systems of the kingdom so we camp around a dimension of reality and we mock ourselves and the painful part is we are doing what is right but the result is not there because it's not complete god is obsessed with completion having the readiness to judge all disobedience if and only when your obedience is complete what right have you to be exempted when there is a plague that is released upon people what right have you to be exempted this one is not free what right that means there is an authorization based on certain things that are done are we together now what right have you to say a bike will not kill me what right have you to say tomorrow i will still wake up alive you know many made boastful statements like that and they are no more today many have said in the name of jesus if by the end of this year i'm not rich except god has not called me the years have passed nothing has happened Exemption is a possibility that can be accessed by the saints. Exemption. Exemption. The quality of being prevented from experiencing woes. The quality of being prevented from experiencing the pain, the tragedy of people. The quality of being exempted or being taken away from defeat. The quality of perpetual triumph. Not necessarily the quality of not being in trouble. But the quality of an assured escape. As guaranteed as God himself. Is there such a provision in the kingdom? If yes. What are the keys to walking in such a reality? I have taught us here again and again that our lives are defined by the mysteries we have access to. So two people can walk upon the earth and their experiences will be the same. Remember the scripture I read to you. The problem is never the foundation. The problem is never that you are not born again. But the quality of our lives. The same way you have two students in a class taught by the same teacher. So the problem is not the teacher. In the same institution. So the problem is not the institution under the same condition the problem is not the condition but then their results will differ and sometimes sharply that's how it is in life two believers two individuals two families two personalities can be within the same environment yet their results will differ why because the bible says that you arise and shine only when your light comes the light is available to everyone but those who are interested in accessing it and complying with the conditions and the terms if you're with me say amen, amen. what right have you you are making a boastful statement whereas you are seeing what is happening in this nation and you dare have the gods to say it's your year of triumph what right you're watching kidnapping and assassination happening you're watching you're watching people being poisoned just air killing people you can't sue the air to court you're watching demons sit on people's destinies you hear people tell you they went to bed and look at the testimony of, of that dear lady went to bed and woke up with physical marks not spiritual marks physical marks on her body question what what stops you from being a victim i want to ask you a question what if as you are sitting down right now 
somebody is chanting your name in the shrine you can't stop them from saying it but the question i have is what right do you have to say i will not be a victim of it what rights do you have to claim that you will prosper i'm doing business it's a joke it's a big joke i have an uncle who is rich another big joke the mystery of exemption job 22 verse 19 i'm a student of the bible i love the bible i don't read the bible to feel spiritual i am very serious about my work with god and my study of scripture i have found it to be the most reliable book i've read many books in my life it's so disappointing to know many of them are useless to my destiny and now that i've found the one that is useful he said i found your word and i did eat it right and it became a joy and a rejoicing to my soul 29 not 19 job 22 29 i want to share with you a few things from the depth of my heart that can exempt men go ahead and prophesy to yourself as you read this scripture one to read when men like they are saying now across the nations of the earth when men like they are saying now across the continent of africa in nigeria even in this city when men are cast down the bible didn't say they say they are cast they are not confessed it is their reality when men are cast down something you will engage will bring you to a point where for you there will be a lifting up a difference an exemption a separation write this down please everyone it's important to come to the lord's house not just with a bible please always have a bible but always have a good material to write or whatever device you're using but make it serious when you take god seriously he will surprise you when you play games with god and make him look like one of those many things in your life then you will not get results so i'm challenging all of us online those outside doesn't matter when you are coming to the house of god go as though you are going to be mentored taught trained built equipped don't go as if you are going to a museum to watch watch artifacts or watch a zoo to watch animals no you are going for a life-changing encounter are we together So exemption, write this down. Exemption from evil. Exemption from defeat is a provision in the kingdom that can be accessed. Exemption from all of those things I mentioned is a provision in the kingdom that can be accessed. That means it is within the power of God to cause men to experience exemption. But like everything in the kingdom, as we have been taught here, everything in the kingdom, including salvation, the cheapest expression of God's grace and love, there will always be a condition attached. Please train yourself into an understanding that every time you desire something in God, know that there is a condition attached. Your condition is a demonstration. Fulfilling that condition is a demonstration of your trust in God and your authorization to commit Him to deliver the results expected. Without condition, there is no guarantee whether you are interested in what God is saying. Watch this if i drop a piece of cake on this table right and i don't give you a condition to pick it how else can i gauge and test whether you are interested 
I drop it here and say, if anyone is interested, come and pick it. Your coming to pick it is a demonstration to me that you are interested. Are we together? You will find people who will not come. I don't have to be angry with them. They are only sending a message to me that I'm not ready to eat cake. The same way other people are sending messages, I don't want to prosper. I don't want to rise. I don't want to walk in the anointing. I do not want to walk in the fullness of the reality and the possibilities contained in God. Obedience commits God. Obedience, not to what you want. You can't set rules and obey it. You obey the conditions prescribed by God. You can obey the conditions prescribed by a man and still fail. You must obey the conditions prescribed by God. Hebrews chapter 1, the Bible says, God who in sundry times and in diverse manners spake to us through the prophets had in these last days spoken to us through his son. Son. God who in sundry times and diverse manners he spake to us through different people but in these last days among many other things his chiefest means of communication is his son the word that he has appointed to be heir over all things so it is important to trust the word of god don't just believe it trust the word of god and respect the word of god say amen there are conditions that if you and I keep, we will render the devil helpless and we'll find out that we can walk in the reality of triumph. Not as a cliche, but an experience that will cause many to wonder and see the hand of God and then give him glory. And I want to share with you two deep kingdom mysteries that are responsible for compelling triumph. Number one is what I call the mystery of putting God first. Matthew 6, 33. The God first principle. You can write it like that. God dash first principle. The God first principle. Matthew chapter 6. Let's start from verse 31, if you will, media. 31. Let's look at 31. God first principle. Wherefore, take no thought. Other versions say, don't worry. Saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? 32. For after these things, these things, what to eat? what to wear the house you will get the car you will get listen carefully the children you will have etc your career whatever he says after these things do the heathen the gentiles seek notice the bible never said they get it he said after these things they seek it didn't say after these things they get it's a cause to seek those things because number one, seeking them will never give them to you. That's not how to get them. The Gentiles are getting it wrong. They are playing by a wrong formula. They seek those things and they never get them. It looks like they get them. But then you look at what else is taken from their life and it doesn't add up to nothing. Are we together? Then it says, for your heavenly father. Your earthly father usually will forget that you need these things. So God was comforting you. There are many fathers in your life. But the surest one, the dependable, your heavenly father knows. That ye have need of all these things. 33. But seek first. Everybody say seek first. It didn't say seek together. Seek. What does it mean to seek first? If I organize a speech and price. Sam, get ready to stand up. And I say, Sam, you took first. Come out. Do you join him? He comes out alone. Topmost. Preferred. So the Bible says, among the many things. Go back to your seat. Among the many things in your life. I want to marry. I want a job. I want my enemy to die. I, my, I must buy a car. 
this duplex is mine. I must possess it. I must receive a miracle alert. I'm not saying those things are wrong. It says among them, come, seek. Hmm. Seek. Isolate God out of the group. Bring him out and pursue him. Listen carefully. I'm showing you a very deep mystery. Let me tell you what many of us are doing. We are seeking together. So we say, God, come. Child, come. Civil service, where is he? Come. We gather them like this and say, God, just hold my hand. But Jesus said, my burden is easy and my yoke. You see that? And so God says, where do I stand here? He said, just be, be blessed that you are in my life. And God says, no, my jealousy cannot allow me fight with rent. Fight with whatever. You are so obsessed about getting land, you will miss a service thinking about land. You will never get it. That's the secret to high blood pressure. Are, are you listening to me now? It is the secret to all this frustration that people drive themselves and fall inside a, a gutter and not even know. There are so many things in your life. Then it says, seek first. Give us that scripture again. The kingdom. Seek first. The influence. The sovereignty. Make God first in your life. And his righteousness. The word righteousness there is not just the one imputed by faith. Understand his systems. Amplified says his way of doing things. So, if you seek the kingdom alone, your obedience is still not complete. He said, rather than looking for money, seek to understand principles. Seek God. When you find him and his kingdom, pay attention. While others are running, trying to look for money. While others are running, trying to look for breakthrough. He said, stay with God and understand his systems. What is your reward? How many of these things will come? This is Jesus talking. Please tell me how many. Oh, he didn't say some. Then you now use the money you have and get the rest. He said, if you seek God, isolate God and seek him. And stay with his word. Learning the systems of the kingdom. Not just religiosity. Bible study. Just to cram scriptures. Understanding the systems of the kingdom. He leaves you with a guarantee one guarantee that all these things remember the these things of verse 32 what to eat will run after you what to drink will run after you the cars the houses the children instead of flying from pillar to post finding out and say, look, look, I have to do something. I'm tired of being barren. The Bible says, seek the kingdom. And when you begin to study the systems of the kingdom, you will find a mystery that is responsible for fruitfulness. It says, and when you have found it, it shall be a joy and a rejoicing to you. Do you know why many believers never rise up? It's not that we don't read the Bible. Believe me. We, don't, we are not interested in understanding the systems of the kingdom. There are many pastors looking for crowd, looking for membership. Yet they will not understand the mystery of growth from the word of God. They just, they, they run around, how are you doing it? You, how are you doing it? Like a charm, like a genie, no. Sit down. There is no man who wanting to, to build a tower. The Bible says we first sit down. You know, life makes it look like the moment you sit down, you are being delayed. You, you, you get it now? So people can come and meet you and say, Oh God, till now you are not walking. Every day you are just searching scriptures. Look at the foolish person who is talking to you. Ask him how much is his salary combined. You are about to get it now. The Bible assures you to be added. I'm not saying getting a job is wrong. But... You are settling down. No, I'm not just interested in a job. I'm interested in favor. Why have I graduated three years and no job? Because of that, I will not just study on a job. I will study on favor. I'm seeking the kingdom. Other people are running around and sweating, watching football. And you are there saying, Lord, 
how how is it that men rise with favor huh ruth came with her mother mother-in-law and just went to a land with nothing and within 24 hours they left provision for her boaz said leave it as you clean some you think it's just because boaz liked her there was a mystery a woman who was even begging her mother to give birth to other children and she will wait her desire of maybe 25 30 years was answered in 24 hours and you are searching while you are searching your passion is attracting the holy spirit don't think he will just come foolishly because you no 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 the holy spirit responds to passion and hunger he will watch you reading it like a storybook first that's why you will not see revelation and you say i'll not be discouraged i have to find this what happened to abimelech that made him carry gifts and just gave abraham he wanted to carry abraham's wife an angel showed up and said if you you would you are dead he didn't say you would die you touch this woman you are dead so as a husband you are now afraid whether they'll kidnap your wife and you go back to scripture and say instead of running around policing my wife like a fool let me find out what is the mystery a kidnapper is coming and that same angel will say i've been here for a long time you touch this woman don't say it's happening to others you don't know what they believed you define your reality by what you believe i keep saying it is when we will go to heaven that god will show me how many goats were slaughtered because of me how many rams were dragged to another house how many bottles only god my picture is everywhere somebody will download it and shoot that picture till he injures himself when you surround your life with mysteries you will laugh you will laugh and laugh and laugh at a foolish devil you are everything everything, everything is you everything is you you are everything everything is you everything one more time sing it on him do you know satan has a system the economy of the devil is such that he's obsessed do you know if you work for satan you will still not be idle satan is the master of occupying people with things the only difference is that they are useless antichrist and they have no bearing in terms of producing results the devil will occupy you with issues that will stop you from paying attention but hear what Jesus tells Martha. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and obsessed about many things. But one thing. How many things? One thing is needful. To sit at the master's feet. Not to sit down and worry. You must be listening and you must be understanding. You know, let me share with you a little testimony. I hardly talk about all these kinds of things. I remember years ago when God was starting out with us. That time, Zaria was not the way it is now. That time there were so many people, pastors, reverends, apostles, prophets. I mean, everybody was called. It was, it was, Zaria was on fire. Everybody was doing something. I remember clearly there were some gentlemen who would come and meet me and say, man of God, why are you always sitting like this? You are always writing, studying the Bible. One even offered to sponsor a, a radio program for me. He said, no, at your level, I mean, you are supposed to organize healing meetings organize this and, and i laughed you know what i was doing i was searching the mysteries of the kingdom i didn't want to gather people and be a fool and waste their time and now be resentful at those having results i knew it would take time brothers and sisters ask those who knew me then i spent my life studying scripture i could sit down a whole day just searching the mysteries you see this hurry hurry in life is a very bad thing god is a god of speed but he does not rush people he teaches you the precepts do you know i say it with all humility 
over 90 percent of those people today they are not even in ministry they were passionate about fame my god passionate about pas passionate about briefcase and suit the few times i spent with them irritated me you sat down with them in 10 minutes they were talking about their suit i couldn't afford it i could afford to study the word so i stayed on what i could afford god made it cheap enough for me to stay there there were so many people just they, all this fake and false life oh my shoe is this my that and i just ignored them with all their nonsense and i'm glad i did just like some of you now while others are running god is saying sit down you are saying god for how long god is saying if you knew where i'm taking you you will start rejoicing because one step in knowledge will cover up 10 years of foolishness 10 years of wallowing in trouble you know this money thing god has said it's a year of wealth listen carefully to me most people believe that god cannot bless them they really do that's why they don't listen to him if you were having a job sam and you were paid let's say hundred thousand how much is that in one year please help me one point assuming nothing changes in 10 years how i was going to say how old is that how how much is that 12 million because of 12 million you rubbish your 10 years rubbish your 10 years fighting quarreling hating and living foolishly whereas god is saying if you will pay attention to me i can do something to you and bring your 10 years to six months to two months to one month to one week and many of you are god don't just leave me i know what i'm doing you know for many people the apex of fulfillment is when they get a job so i mean what when you are talking like they say please get out i have a job a good job what is a good job what is your definition of a good job when you are employed my definition of a good job is a good job that i have absolute control of if i cannot control it it's not a good job because somebody's wickedness can affect me correct i'm not saying get a job is bad no 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 we prophesy jobs here there are many disciplined diligent employed people don't be lazy and think i'm endorsing you i'm about to attack you from the other side you know me i will have to balance it don't think it's not an endorsement for irresponsibility for whatever reason but i'm i'm showing you the vanity of trusting in things these are the things that destroy us to an extent that they now give somebody a job if the devil does it in such a way that every day you go to church or fellowship that's the day you will be needed most that's a useless and nonsense job i repeat that is a useless and what nonsense job the job that has to make you leave god to do it is a stupid job if you are involved leave it now let men insult me no problem leave it listen i've worked with god small he's reliable listen to what i'm telling you are we together now that's why they get angry when god blesses people because they come and say ah, ah, pastor alpha Papa, what happened three cars two duplexes then the painful part is he didn't build any of them say no this, this is i mean I'm, no i can't i don't like this guy whether you like it or not it's a mystery everybody say mystery that's why i call it a mystery a mystery of exemption that where others have to do a lot of things i've said it listen if you're a businessman here listen to me and don't think i'm daft as i speak stop wasting your time to save money to buy land in the kingdom you don't buy land through saving you provoke favor listen i know what i'm saying if well god bless you you can you can save and god will honor it i will even pray on it but you are you will be ready for frustration satan that i know will cause something you must eat out of that money no matter how disciplined you are when you are pushed to the wall 
you must withdraw something. You don't get land. You don't get properties by saving. Psalm 44 verse 3. Give it to us please. Read that scripture and never forget. It's just a digression and I'll get back to our subject of discussion and we'll pray. I want us to pray tonight. Help us please. Psalm 44 verse 3. You are a Christian. Please read it with all your heart. One, two, read. Uh-huh. So how did they get the land? Now, teach somebody this thing and watch him insult you. And say you and that your stupid man of God in Koinonia. You people should continue this nonsense. You will beg for bread. Beg for bread. See, I'm teaching, what I'm teaching some of you is very hard. Even you, you are trying to believe it, but what they have told you, you are now wondering, I hope it will work. It's like leaving a rope. You are about to fall and I'm saying, leave that rope and just come. And you are saying, show me the, the quota and I'm saying, just leave it. If it be thou, bid me come. What I'm sharing, many of you, I can't, you, you see, I'm a spiritual man. I receive a spiritual feedback. I see how many of you are struggling to believe and agree with what I'm saying. It's not like you want to doubt it, but you are saying, ah, apostle is hard though. Some are foolishly saying it's because you are a man of God, you are enjoying. Was I born a man of God? You, you join the junk that journalists carry and talk about people and say you are enjoying. People give you tithe and give you offering. No. I'm showing you how to be happy. That's how to be happy. That you can carry your wife and be happy. You can see a Jimmy and his wife. You can see Ogasho and Shade. There are happy people. You can see Aaron, several Pastor Alpha. There are other angry people. You see them and their wives and stress. That guy is 35. But even you, you would, you would think that he's maybe 50. Life, life squeezed him. Disobedience added his weight on top. And the devil sat on it. That's his destiny. Don't laugh. Take very seriously what I'm telling you. There are people, you see them with their wives happy, giving God glory. Giving God praise. Because they are, they, are, they are accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. They know what to do with their children. They know what to do with the enemy. Kai, may you know what to do. It's a disaster to be confronted with something you do not know what to do. The Bible says, but he himself, Jesus now, knew what to do. Look at the brother that shared the testimony. The one who trekked from um, this is the police station or somewhere. Now, you see, can you see that in spite of the trekking, he now climbed a bike and the devil wanted to kill him? It's not fear. It's a mystery. Listen, when you trust God, you commit him. Let me tell you something about believing God. Watch this. If this is the door. Watch this. This is a big revelation for someone. Call this place I'm standing the door to your destiny. Are we together? If you turn around following this door with total sincerity believing that it is God that is leading you, God will remove this door and keep it here to make sure you don't miss it. Let this be a deep word of comfort to somebody. Stop being afraid. Who said he must remain there? He said, I am the door. When he moves, the door moves. So listen, listen. That's why God protected that brother and brought him to hear the word. The devil may have planned. God does not give men doors. He's the door. Once you are following him, I tell you in your sincerity, even in your error, he will still say, I am the door. Pass. I'm no longer... A slave to fear. I am a child. Hold on. When you see God doing the great things that He's doing through my life and through many great men, 
it's not because we got his instructions 100 percent it's because our hearts are sincere so while based on what you saw in a vision i'm supposed to die god shifts the door and say pass let the enemies keep prophesying themselves into doom they were right but god was god did you hear what i said they were right their predictions were correct i shouldn't have made it but god is god choose which part to follow right or god i follow him oh i follow him are you hearing what i'm saying i don't walk with god with fear since god revealed this to me i mean i live a very happy life to hell with satan i live a very happy life my heart for god is the chief requirement he will take me to the place of destiny if this is the path god earmarked for me and i follow this path but with a heart of sincerity knowing that i seek god my sincerity puts pressure on his reputation he will change that destiny and carry it and bring it here believe me i have worked with him that's the god we serve that's the god we serve that's the god we serve that's the reason why when a man gives you prophecy it's still not the highest thing you can change it he's speaking based on what he saw but there is something between you and god that can change it have you not heard that there were people who somebody saw a doctor saw that woman had lost a child they saw this guy had lost um, whatever and the man would look and say it is true i'm seeing blood you have lost the child but i bring a sincerity between me and god and after nine months a child comes out where did he come out from i am the door door means access the door to everything don't let men fool you and make it look like you have missed it you have missed it you hear people make that arrogant statement you have missed it miss what god my god you are joking he will navigate that door hear what i'm telling you this is why restoration is possible he can take it and turn the direction and bring it listen he is god he does not submit to any man you be god you know be man no you be God, you know, be my Lord. Alpha and Omega, you be God. You be God, oh. You be God, oh. Sing it one more time. You be God, you know, be my Lord. You be God, you know, be my Lord. Let's say you be God, oh. You be God, you know, be my Lord. Alpha and Omega. Let me tell you a big secret the key is not perfection the key is sincerity learn this it's not hearing god 100 percent that guarantees your victory is the sincerity of your heart hmm. are you hearing what i'm teaching you tonight god first you touch a man addicted to god you are in trouble i'm telling you you touch a man that has carried himself and said, God, I belong to you. I seek you first. When you seek other things and leave God behind, you authorize darkness to tear down your life. When you say it, people think you are stupid. They think it's just a talk for preachers. No, sir. God first. God always. And you are free. The first key to exemption. Hear me. Is when God occupies every space in your life you will watch trouble come before you like this and pass you as if you're a spirit God first it's not about koinonia it's not about being a civil servant or a businessman there are many foolish career people who threw God away they loved God while they were on campus the moment they graduated they became too matured for god they threw him away and said now we have we have become you know i read i read engineering i read maths i read i read whatever it is lower levels of knowledge 
they throw God they throw his word they throw everything you never find them talking about God they are even embarrassed you come to their house you mention God you say you have come with this God God thing pastor run away from such kind of people koinonia hear me i love you too much i'm training you to become a wonder run away from anybody who does not prioritize god i don't care whether he's a politician whether he's a businessman if it's your husband or wife you have a work to do start interceding seriously do you know when people come and meet me and they say they are ready to marry even if you hold hamper for me it's a joke do you love god are you serious you don't bribe me with wine and hamper i'm not an idiot do you love god because when all else fail that one thing will bring you back job lost everything and the one thing left the wife said leave it all job said yeah leave god again i lost everything and you are now saying i should leave god why do you speak like one of these foolish women and god had him in pain i hold on to you oh i lost my job but lord i hold on to you how can i lose you are we together my finances crashed but i hold on to you god first the marriage didn't work out still god first the miscarriage happened god first i thought i would not need to go for a surgery but i went for a surgery god first everybody shout god first before that brother God first before that sister let the brother come and meet you loving God don't move around and be saying I'm 30 years keep quiet God first don't sit down moving around and say why wouldn't I get a job let the job come and meet you with God inseparable how can I leave him what will be my reason that he's not faithful I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I, I never, never see, see anyone like you. I never see. Please help me praise my God. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. Sit down. Do you know some of you are looking at me strange? As you rise and you see many cheap victories, you will know why we praise God. We gave an instruction here. Hold on. That people should dance their way to the next level. There were too many big people, big CEOs, arrogant people. Who felt too big? Why, why will I make myself a small child? Please, this koinonia, you make people look stupid. The kingdom is for children. When you become too big for the kingdom, you are too big for breakthrough. Too big for what? You think I like dancing? Have you ever seen me dance? Do you think I like dancing? But at his word, you become foolish enough to step into that realm. Are we together? God first. That you vow a vow tonight and say, Lord, listen, brothers and sisters. You know, every time I come here, I watch these little children and their parents. I see how many wrong things they do in 10 minutes. And I see how their parents go. I hear a Jimmy calling his child. The wife is there. Everybody doing all they're doing. And I'm saying, that's it. That's the message. God first. They don't run to me. They run to their parents. God first. We hate God. That's why we run to him last. We claim we love him. The moment people are in trouble, you run to your strongest point of deliverance, which is your uncle. And you ran and he told you the money has not come yet. You insulted him and left angrily. You went to another auntie to an extent that you went to a stranger on the road and said, Sir, if I die now, is it fair? And God, hold on. God is watching. We pray in tongues. We roll around. Are, we, are, we, are you hearing what I'm saying? We cry. We do a lot of emotional things. But in the midst of real life situations. Let me tell you, God is my witness. You are spiritual people. Listen. The, every issue of my life, my first point of reference is God. 
I have convinced myself that whatever God cannot do in my life cannot be done. No. Are we together? Yeah. The moment there is trouble, and you are calling apostle, it doesn't work. You call prayer department leaders, it doesn't work. Call a Jimmy, it doesn't work. Call pastor Alpha, call him. They are wicked. No. God is with you in the room there. You don't believe it and you are not even interested. How many people go and sit down in the offices of men from morning till evening? They sit by seven till ten. Then the man just comes and says, I'm tired. Can you come? Ah, yes, yes. No problem. How can I be angry? Because you think that the man can wipe your tears. And you spend ten minutes in the presence of God. You are grumbling around and talking nonsense. Oh God, you are my you now see why I sing that song and I will ever praise you oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you listen do you know brothers and sisters if not for God the troubles I would have entered the fulfillment of the prophecies of the enemy koinonia would have crashed crashed like a plane but for god but for god you will keep watching this ministry rise mysteriously like an edifice it's not because of perfection it's because of god when you know this you will be outspoken about god you think your business will rise because you have capital and so you will keep struggling with it there another ignorant person who respects god will come from nowhere and rise that's why you see when listen listen carefully when men are clapping and saying ah apostle did this i thank god for it oh but me and god we 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 know take god out of my life i'm as useless as this table you are seeing in the presence of anyone i'm not ashamed of it I say it everywhere because every time I declare him I bring joy to his heart and he says son you are sitting down on so much power yet you are telling men it's not you most of you will not do it let me tell you there are many of you here looking at me if you carry one tenth of the kind of anointing God has put in my heart pe people will worship you you will put your name on your shoe you will be, by now they would have made rapper with my face by now you would have done everything but for him how can i dare claim that i'm responsible for this result will i be honest i may deceive you and you will believe me but i know listen after great meetings like this when i go back home i have my small chair i just kneel down and sometimes you just see me hold the chair and i'm just laughing i say my god boy you serve look at how these people are clapping sometimes the seeds that they sow into my life i wait till this my boys that are working for me when they go home i scatter it on the ground and i keep looking at it i say but god you know this thing doesn't belong to me abby it really belongs to you why will somebody walk and you pay someone else and god says it's yours that's your price for believing me god first who deceived you that God is only for preachers. Who deceived you that God is only for pastors' wives? Please hear me. There are people here, inside, outside, online. You are not determined to be passionate about God. They ask you, you say, me, I, I take my things easy. I don't overdo anything. You better overdo when it comes to God. Because life will so crush you into pieces. Life is spiritual when i worship god i make sure satan sees me worshiping god is a love affair and he's not invited he's absolutely not invited i sing this song not because it's a special number it's a revelation to me he is my god the way hope can hold her husband and say my husband you don't claim what is not your own this water is my own right the welfare gave me if you come to touch it now i'll say you are a, you are a word what are you thief thief there is a name for that when you claim he is your god 
you prove it through your intimacy it's not talk what right have you to stand and say let the power of god move what right have you you know most people think it's just by talking now the power of god will move 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 you are you are a big joker not with god not with god you must have a track record not of perfection of passion Believe me, if you do not have passion for God, forget about doing business with God in this kingdom. I want to ask you a question. When was the last time you took a day off to spend time with God? Don't tell me you love him. Let's examine it. You see why it is better for some people to not get jobs? Because God is having their attention. Now that they are idle, they can spend time. But the moment they get up, they are now in a hurry making money hurry making whatever and then the times that they now have to spend with god the devil now occupies them with something else don't look for what only god can give it's not missing stay with the door the one who has it and he will give you many preachers come to me and they say man of god i want grace i want to see results in my ministry and I look at them, I say, so what do you expect to happen? And they just bring out of a bag, you see like four or five different anointing oils. And I'm not against it. They bring it as a man of God, just breathe on it. I will carry it back. And I look at the person and laugh. I almost want to tell them, get out of here. You are joking. You breathe a relationship? Is that how you grow your relationship? Time. Intimacy. Spend time with God. No spend time with men yes spend time with liars and psychophants who will clap for you now and betray you and betray you unreliable as they are they will clap for you as if they love you as soon as you turn they will stab you listen i stopped trusting men's sins men are as unreliable as the devil i trust god so it doesn't matter what men what they do to me Everybody say God first. Say it, God first. Bless you. Let's look at the second part very quickly. Our time is gone. The second mystery that commands exemption, aside from putting God first in everything, is the mystery of kingdom service. Write it down. The mystery of kingdom service. I'm going to be very fast. Please write it and we'll pray. Kingdom service is promoting the interest and the purposes of God on earth. Promoting the interest and the purposes of God on earth. It's an extension of your love and your passion for God. Kingdom service. What is kingdom service? Serving God for a living. Serving God for a living. Kingdom service is not just cleaning chairs. No, no, no. Serving God for a living. There are three dimensions to kingdom service. Maybe we'll just touch one. And then next week we can take the other one. I wanted us to finish because we'll start a series. Let's see how God will help us. Number one. The first proof or the first index to measure your kingdom service is soul winning and establishment soul winning and soul establishment Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 soul winning and soul establishment brothers and sisters is a jackpot of breakthrough look at me anybody who tells you working for God does not pay is lying to you and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and they that turn how many many to righteousness they shall be as the stars that's their reward for turning many to righteousness soul winning is not for evangelists proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 please give it to us quickly proverbs 11 verse 30 soul winning as a demonstration of your service to the kingdom 
it says and the fruit of the righteous is as a tree of life and he that winneth souls very clearly he that winneth souls is what wise and the bible speaking about wisdom says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness long lasting riches not 10 years and you are down forever wisdom wisdom that when you win souls it is a service to the kingdom that compels god to bless you second corinthians chapter 5 from verse 18 to 20 very interesting scripture second corinthians chapter 5 quickly please verse 18 to 20 the bible tells us that god has given us both the ministry and the word of reconciliation two things both the ministry and all things are of god who had reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and had given us what's the first thing it's an assignment he didn't give pastors he gave all men the ministry of reconciliation next verse to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and had committed unto us what the word he didn't just give you the ministry he gave you the word what to say how to get men saved not just the passion and the assignment both the ministry and the word look at me one of the biggest secrets to the growth of any flourishing ministry is soul winning not revelation i don't care how deep that ministry is a ministry that trivializes soul winning will never grow go and search your bible search modern history search today i say it without any sense of shame find out a ministry no matter how deep they are in the things of god healing deliverance prophecy revelation whatever if soul winning is not an outspoken priority you never will find god trusting them with people most people think soul winning is a basic thing in christianity it's for people who don't have anything else to offer is that true what jesus died for everybody says soul winning there are some of you who can win souls and win your way out of every trouble you watch people who have not turned to righteousness you watch people you are coming for koinonia you move around and you watch lives and destinies languishing and going to hell and it doesn't bother you because you feel apostle will come and do it your passion for souls there are people here who god has lifted in strange ways they make it as a point of contact to both win souls and draw them to the house of god where they will be saved shortly i'm going to make an altar call and almost everyone who will come out here was invited by somebody you have won a soul let me tell you every time you bring a soul to god as he's getting born again start clapping it's like taking a check to a bank while you are clapping for his eternal salvation clap for yourself too because the devil is watching you have saved the soul and authorized yourself for exemption a woman can win her way out of barrenness that you sit down and say satan you claim you will not give me a child i need three children i will win five souls for every child and you go out and you win five and say that's my firstborn let's see the devil that will stop your womb from taking it if you don't have womb the baby will grow anywhere after all germs grow anywhere fibroid grows anywhere growth grow anywhere it doesn't matter where the baby grows the most important thing is that he comes out after nine months are we together koinonia is heavily protected among other things by the mystery of soul winning i have passion genuine passion for souls not fake that pastors just do and cry genuine passion for souls you are talking to somebody he says somebody else has talked has spoken to me say it doesn't matter 
it doesn't matter that somebody spoke to you does not mean you were born again i'm still talking to you koinonia hear me i challenge you begin a serious project of soul winning instead of gossiping on facebook discussing matters of people that are not your business writing things about men of god somebody i was i was i was shown somebody who tried to write a, a, some things about me thinking he knows me and i said look at do you see this foolish people he would have used that time and that unit to win a soul do you know the joy in the heart of a father when one person comes to stand before jesus listen every time we pray for crowd god sees my heart it is never for a name it is never to build an empire i'm smart enough to know how to be famous i'm intelligent enough to be able to write books souls souls that when you win souls it's on your record the bible says there is joy in heaven since you got born again let me tell you it's a shame as a believer if right from the beginning of this year till now you have not contributed in anyone's coming to the kingdom it's a shame you are doing the same thing an irresponsible man does to not bring food to a house the same way we say a man is stupid for not bringing food to his house imagine a man married and comes home empty-handed and the wife is saying honey where's the food he said, food for what that's exactly what someone does if he doesn't win souls you watch people go to hell the primary assignment god has given me is not just to build and equip believers you have to save them first before they are established facebook text messages you can find a way of reaching a soul genuinely don't just say i think he's saved and talk to him and say well you see you have to be serious with god think about it then you go back smiling you didn't save him you only informed him that his life is not going well it's a different thing if he rejects but give people a chance preach to your parents preach to your loved ones you see how we celebrate so winning here many of you when people give testimonies of cars i got a car I got a plane you clap but they say someone got born again and somebody just knows oh that's all right let's hear the real testimony which one is the real one the car that will perish have you not grown spiritually enough to know how the the mundanity and the vanity of the things of this life that's why we pray for souls that's why as much as possible as much as god grants us grace we keep making altar calls even if nobody comes let there be a witness in heaven are we together some of you that's what you did that god lifted you that's how this ministry started we would pray for people those times before they got admission when people came if that was before they started post ume i remember as soon as people come we're like holding them and the next thing they get born again they get filled with the holy spirit and we create room for them to be established if you heal men and don't save them they are going to hell are you hearing what i'm telling you if you give if i give you money and you are not saved where are you going to don't say heaven don't let anyone lie to you you are going to heaven you are you don't have jesus in your heart please don't let any theologian deceive you you are going straight to hell say hell there is a real place like that people left this morning they are there right now don't let people fool you and make it look as if the moment you're a nice person you go to heaven being nice does not take people to heaven if you cannot live your lifetime you deserve to go to hell if you live your lifetime without acknowledging the one who brought you you spent 70 years of your life and paid no attention to god this night i want to challenge you your phone is full of many names that are not born again you are looking at them and you are watching them god has given you access and influence over their lives many of our loved ones are on their way to hell we know it we know they're on their way to hell our roommates are on their way to hell our work people are on their way to hell our friends your husband is on his way to hell 
your wife some of our stubborn children are on their way to hell you can start interceding don't say any man cannot be saved that's the talk of the devil i have seen impossible people get saved there's nobody i i, I don't believe that can be saved do you pray for souls or do you pray for money some of you are surprised we are supposed to be talking about wealth i'm showing you a jackpot of financial prosperity god is not a, a, a journey that you crack like a charm souls for as long as there is breath in me i will keep leading people to jesus preacher or no preacher i will make sure they love him i will make sure they love him stop discussing other things with people and don't probe their salvation people come to you and say we want to marry you talk about every other thing there is a way you can discern oh this guy is saved but there's a way you know this brother is not saved and he's about to marry a lady he's inviting satan officially to be the lord of that home you have to save it you are not just saving a man you are saving every child that will come you know believers don't be too western to be obedient take the foolishness of the word of god and be serious on tuesday you are coming for prayer department prayer band meeting is the only department that allows other people to join them you come alone you leave and you are going and you know that somebody so he, he may not be born again dear boy can be a starting point it takes a while to save souls you may not save them overnight but start introducing them to the atmosphere of god's presence the same way some of you now introduce someone here doesn't matter what religion doesn't matter what age doesn't matter what rest what, what race i have little respect for any man of god that does not pay attention to the simplicity of soul winning i don't care what you have the greatest people when all is said and done he that winneth souls is wise you have no authorization to prosper and to ex be exempted from the the ills and the perils that will keep languishing men when you are not a soul winner are you blessed we'll stop here next week we'll take on the others but listen to me very carefully tonight one of the many prayers you'll be praying is to cry for grace to have a personal revelation of soul winning i don't want you to just get emotional over what i'm saying you don't have to get tracks and move around it is your lifestyle huh there are certain businesses that in nigeria when the businesses came out people were too grateful to keep quiet they ran to people by themselves have you heard about this ah my life is changing and the person say i'm not listening you must listen i'm not going anywhere i love you too much to leave you that's the same way that's the same way you talk to somebody are we together the person is laughing and say see you and this your god thing we did it before we did this god thing before and tell him you need to go back god is not a project that you do before and leave many of the people you preach to will tell you they were once saved there was no follow-up system and no structure for establishment so when the cares of life came upon them in anger if god was god why did he allow my wife die if god was god why did he allow me to fail if god was god why did he allow me to do this i left god's sins and they say it explain the gospel to them let them know that there is a difference between an encounter with god and understanding his principles many people think the moment i come to jesus christ everything will change and be careful how you win souls the basis of winning souls is not just to prosper them it's a submission it's a covenant of surrender and submission when two people are getting married they ask them serious questions will you be there for one another whether things go well or not they answer yes to everything and they mean it don't don't lie to people of course in christ you have access to these things 
but train people to love God more than things and situations. Don't, don't make people think immediately I run to God, everything will change and then an attack starts on account of their decision and they no longer can stand. There are many people who have been of other religions here. Some of them are here listening to me. They have made bold decisions for Jesus. And some of them, we have had to come in even as a ministry to shield and help them. Because they, they have gone and some are still going through heavy pain. They deserted them financially, left them for whatever reason. But because they were saved well, they were saved to love and live for Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. Before I make an altar call, while everybody is seated, I want you to cry. Pray while you are seated. Cry to God with every passion in you. And say, Lord, I am sorry for ignoring souls. I've been trying to do ministry and I've watched people go to hell. There are people who if I had spoken to them last week, last month. Pray. Lord, you gave me an anointing. I've been joking with it. Just throwing people on the floor and not paying attention to their salvation. You gave me a ministry. I've been playing games with it watching people look warm and unserious with god brothers and sisters let's be sincere with ourselves that's not how we started that's not how we started with god we started with the simplicity of passion for souls pray talk to god they call you pastor's wife and you were ashamed and you stopped They insulted you and embarrassed you and you were ashamed then you stopped outside are you praying Lord fresh passion to engage the mysteries that will exempt me from trouble from the grip of witchcraft from destruction That my life will cause men to love God. My life will cause men to be on fire. How can I be in an environment? No one is changing. No one is serious. No one's prayer life is rising. No one's word life is growing. Never transfer the message to anybody. You've never bought a Bible for anyone never done anything to contribute to the salvation of anyone you're not acting as a genuine christian believe me brothers and sisters yet you want the anointing yet you want to be invited for crusades do you want the name or do you love god do you want the fame or do you love god do you just want the prestige and the persona or are you genuinely passionate in this place here and now lord your kingdom reign your kingdom reign in our lives in our homes your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life I let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life tonight I let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign, above all, above all, your kingdom reign. Forget 
about fame and go for souls and watch the wonder God will do with your life. Forget about complaining for a husband or a wife and go for souls. Forget about the witchcraft in your family. I know you were born with witchcraft. I know there are practicing people who are manipulating your destiny. Leave them alone and go for souls and let me see the charm that will tie you down souls don't just pay tight don't just sow seeds win souls win souls win souls you are too big to win souls you are too big to be exempted you are too big to turn many to righteousness you are too big to receive the defense of God against the vicissitudes of life but apostle i'm a shy person that's why there is grace for you but apostle i'm not a man of god the great commission is not for men of god my friend prayer point number two lord every soul appointed to be saved through my life in the name of jesus i begin to seek them and pursue them every soul appointed there is somebody that must escape hell because i am alive lord where are they reveal them to me and give me the grace to hunt them lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray koinonia who have you appointed to be saved through my life lord who have you appointed to be saved through koinonia who have you appointed to be saved to be serious with God through our teachings Jesus said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition that scriptures may be fulfilled and none is lost and none is lost hallelujah before I make the altar call I want you to take two minutes find somebody that is serious and I want you to intercede for your family members and say I stop them from going to hell Lord they can't go to hell I know as at now my father is not yet a Christian but Lord eternity in hell have mercy pray my brother my husband my wife pray for those who are saved too and are not serious there are people saved but not serious Save, but not passionate. save them oh god we release angels angels of salvation draw them to meetings draw them to crusades draw them to meetings we release angels of salvation lord give them dreams may they have encounters with jesus in their sleep may they have an encounter with jesus in their offices it's time for their salvation hallelujah hallelujah we are rounding up we are going to pray for salvation through encounters that's the strange dimension the spirit of god is moving right now where men by themselves are in a room all of a sudden they are caught up an encounter that will rattle every stubbornness lift your voice and cry lord we release encounters this night dreams this night visions this night encounters in the beer parlor encounters in public places encounters in business board meetings Encounters. Why 
child is preparing to go for arm robbery encounters on the road encounters with Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I have made you first in my life and I'm committed to serving you. Therefore, I invoke exemption upon my life. I no longer will cry their cry. Prophesy it. I no longer will go through their pain. No. Glorious exemption from poverty. Glorious exemption from sickness. Glorious exemption from failure. Are you praying? May that mystery be activated in my life. May that mystery be activated surely they will gather but by this mystery they will scatter they will come in one way and the Lord will disperse them in seven ways hallelujah hallelujah Lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. I prophesy upon everyone here. As you are laying your hands. The same way a mark was put by God to Cain. And said by this mark. You, anyone who sees you will leave you in peace. He did it to a sinner. Cain. He put a mark right now in the name of Jesus. As you are placing your hand on your head, Shadaka Tokatabara, I place a mark of exemption upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If the devil is looking for men to kill in a car accident, it will not it will be minus you in the name of jesus christ hear me when the devil is fermenting trouble to destroy families cause scandal between husband and wife cause scandal between pastor and whatever in the name of jesus minus you you are exempted in the name of jesus hear me the same way god has exempted this ministry from financial turmoil and recession i pray upon you beginning from this night every time a man is looking for who to favor i command them to find you in this time of recession in this time of financial lack you will have to give your way to a realm of unending wealth it may take time but let me tell you the bible says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree study the palm tree it doesn't grow at once but it's growing but in one year the palm tree will blossom he said even in old age they will be fat and flourishing hallelujah is someone learning something so do you see the reason it's not just about demons and satan Many of us like the fact that if I call this lady now, I say, do you know that there is somebody who is tying your money? They say, yes, I've always known. Please, I've always known. As if you have been obeying the principles of the kingdom. You're not tithing, you're not giving. And in this era of the prophetic, many people have become gullible. Please don't criticize the prophetic. It is very important for the agenda of God. It's just that it must be balanced. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace. The third point, I spoke about number one, uh, not surrendering to the kingdom. Number two, ignorance. I just digressed a bit to talk about finances. 
Then number three, disobedience to kingdom principles. Different kingdom principles. Hallelujah. If I ask you a question, please just write it and look up. I have to run. If I ask you, what is your basis of believing you are going to live long in the kingdom? What are you going to tell me? The blood of Jesus or because Jesus died? What is, what is your confidence that you will celebrate Christmas in 2014? In this wickedness that we have, Boko Haram doing everything, what is your exemption? What are you standing on that exempts you? Are you seeing why I'm... There are principles, brothers and sisters. Longevity. Different people want to live long. I had to study for myself. I told myself, I said, oh boy, if you want to live long, you better find out what the Bible has put. And number one is honor to parents. He said, honor your father and your mother. Every time I want to travel, I'll call my mother and say, how are you? God bless you. And I know my journey is safe. For sure. Number two, he said, I shall not die, but live to declare. That means if you are not declaring her, I shall not die. There is an immunity that comes upon me because I'm an envoy advocating the agenda of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, but I advise you choose life that you may live. I chose it. I chose it absolutely. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is on the strength of this revelation. You can say in the name of Jesus. I know. I know. Hallelujah. What is your scriptural basis of believing that you will live in health? Just because you are bearing a Christian name? No. Brothers and sisters, no. Just because you went to school? There is a basis. There is a basis. Hallelujah. He said, I will let none of these diseases that came upon the Egyptians to come upon you. But there is a reason. He said, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. He said, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Hallelujah. Obedience. We must pay attention. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst from your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said, they are life, not to Christians, to those who care to find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Let's hurry up. So that's the third reason why things don't go well with people the fourth reason which is most important is demonic oppression the bible tells us that the whole world lies in wickedness and i've said it again and again don't let anybody play church games with you and deceive you with suit we live in a wicked world the condition to be a prospective victim of wickedness is that you are born of a woman as simple as that you don't need to offend anybody the whole world lieth in wickedness. We live in a very wicked world. Someone can look at you and vow and say, over my dead body, it will not be well with you. Ah, ah. They looked at Jesus Christ. What did he do? They sat down and held a meeting to kill him. And Jesus said, if they have done it unto me, they will do it to you. Hallelujah. That means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs. That's why he gave us power. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power. Not through making noise and wearing suit. Through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. Many of us have been deceived this is a nice world don't trouble satan satan will not trouble you and just say i'm not looking for anybody's trouble <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
the whole world lies in wickedness after struggling for five years to get a job you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, i don't like you you didn't do anything wrong i just don't like you and as long as i'm in this office because for one position for promotion there are 10 or 5 people qualified everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling believing because you are you have a christian name brothers and sisters please wake up as we approach the coming of christ the fierceness of evil becomes stronger and it is they that know their god daniel 11 32 they that know their god they that not they that have heard about him they that know their God shall be strong. You see all these people gathered here? It will take God opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting. But it takes an authority. Oh, this is the part about the kingdom I like. I love the fact that our, the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity. It's a kingdom of power and authority. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember a woman came to me for counseling one time. When she was about, she got married newly. You know, and, and, and that was quite some decades ago. And she couldn't have a child. So she went to a stream somewhere. You know and all kinds of things were done for her and they told her make sure you have a daughter and before that daughter gets married make sure you return her and the woman said you may have been dead by that time he said see my son and he pointed one small boy who was just playing around he said by that time this boy will now be the priest return her so that something will be done hallelujah now the lady graduated and the women advise the mother and say madam we know you are a christian but this world we are living in just quietly go who will know just go and settle this thing and come back there are many people under all kinds of yokes who have been made to believe that once you are born again everything is over brothers and sisters it is true that in christ the old is supposed to have gone but satan will not just release you at a platter of gold it will take enforcing what christ has done for him to let you go hallelujah and pharaoh refused to let them go after nine plagues although god had given the command pharaoh refused to let them go hallelujah and then in the book of exodus he said one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and upon egypt after that he will let you go one more plague hallelujah i'm glad to announce to you tonight the devil must give up on you finally There are many women suffering barrenness many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses there are many of us we are sitting here laughing but nothing is working in our homes it's not like you are not the day you just announce in the family that there is a project that's the day everything will scatter let god bless the family with small resources everybody gets sick until the money finishes then they will become fine by themselves I was diagnosed i've shared my story some of you were born in nice families they took care of you the devil never oppressed you that's why you have not understood the implication i was diagnosed of a fungal infection i had no account of just appeared this head you are seeing was literally rotting and they told me hair will never grow on my head again i know what evil the that's why i will live every day one of my life's mission is to give hell a headache till I transit to celebrate with Jesus Christ. Mm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. 
Ha! There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There was a season in my family people were dying like chickens. Look, let me tell you something. My grandfather, for some of you who are around the north, my grandfather, they were the trustees and the founders of Church of Christ in Nigeria. I come from a, a lineage of missionaries, but it did not solve the problem in my family. Are you getting my point? All the firstborns, I saw the, I saw the pattern. They became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket, they just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have left, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night, somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two one. Five years down the line, there's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job, the manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. But you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power it's in the name of Jesus. 
There is power in the name of Jesus. It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I shared with us the testimony. Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman, I would think it's a lie. I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey. Half man, half monkey with hair. If not that I was sitting face to face with this woman, if I had another man of God say it, I may join those saying this is a lie, some exaggeration, just to make the message look powerful. I've seen all kinds of evil. But in the name that is above all names, there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. Are you seeing? Many of us are struggling. You are trying to fight your health. You are trying to fight this, whereas there is a root problem. If that problem is not dealt with, you may be healed, but it will appear as something else. I hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree. How do you make a tree healthy? Do you clean the leaves? You add fertilizer at the root. How do you destroy a tree? You deal with the root. The Bible says the righteous is like a palm tree. Is that true? This is the mystery of total breakthrough. You must see every man like a tree. You waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once. When you address the problem, it's like somebody who is complaining of headache, but the real issue is typhoid fever. You can take Panadol again and again. You will receive temporary relief. But tonight, some things will be totally settled in the name of Jesus Christ. You will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up. Then job opens up. Then your academic opens up. And that's when you say, goodness. So this is it. A dear lady of ours, even while I was in Abuja last week, I, I met with her. This lady had worked for four years. Very hardworking lady. She was here, I remember that time. It's on video also. One fair lady that came from Abuja and I prayed for her. This lady, for four years, she had been working. No promotion, no benefits, no nothing. Every area of her life was grounded. I prayed for this lady and she went back to Abuja and her boss looked at her. He said, come, you've been working in this place. What has been done for you? Right now, this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere. When her friends heard about it, they say it's because you are fine. She says, have I not been here four years with the same pretty face? Nothing changes by itself till you force it to change. It will change one day is a dream. If you force it, it will change. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, you are standing outside. Students, you are, you are suffering. Things are not working. People think you are dull, but you are not dull. You enter the exam hall, you blank out. And then you will do tutorials and be helping others. When they are marking scripts, your script gets missing. The wickedness. The Bible says, while men slept, an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away. There are all kinds of people. Lumps, fibroids, barrenness, cysts, all kinds of nonsense all around. Until you know the might of God, you will keep getting afraid of Satan. But when you know who God is, you will know once and for all that this devil, he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator. Who am I speaking to tonight? Is your season for real change. You can see, you can sit down and watch others. There are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now. It's not like you are not pretty. It's not like you are not virtuous. You have done everything. You have read every book. You've knelt down for every man to greet them, but no marriage. Something is wrong. It even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry. And this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found. What of the man? Hallelujah. 
but the Lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives. Listen, many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families. You know we believe in family in this place, right? Your salvation is not complete until the members. He said, as for me and my house. Hallelujah. Every one of us standing here came from a family. And let me tell you, no matter how blessed you are, if your family is not changed. For many years, my father was grounded at his place of work. His juniors were being promoted. Everything was working for others except him. This man was almost dying of high blood pressure. And one day I got angry and we had to settle the issue. Tonight, God will settle some family. So please take what I'm saying seriously. I'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray. Hallelujah. There are some of you, anytime somebody wants to bless you, something will happen to that person and just cut eye. Somebody says, I want to bless your family. Everything becomes grounded. There are some of us who are in ministry. You have done everything you know. Groundbreaking. Prophetic match around everything. Nothing is growing. But Jesus Christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory. Hallelujah. And in a few minutes, we have to pray before I begin to minister. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray and say, Father, visit me. I didn't just come to watch others and clap. Hallelujah. The power of God is present to heal. No matter what the sickness is, no matter what the sickness is, believe. Is it cancer? Is it HIV? Is it fibroid? Is it genotype issue? No matter what it is, you are stranded in whatever area of your life. Please position yourself. Because God is about to do mighty things right now. No matter how far you are inside or outside, talk to the Lord. Don't be joking. This is about your destiny. This is your chance for exchange of story. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness of this sickle cell anemia Jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes Jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that HIV to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful. He paid the price. He paid the price. Go ahead and pray. And say, Jesus, you have paid the price. Jesus, you have paid the price. For the deliverance of my family. We are tired of this hardship. It's not your will for us to continue in this hardship. And Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. We will not let you go till you change our story. Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story academically. I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah 
he paid it with the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already Jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished HIV is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the Bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and said my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god would change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever it is you're trusting god for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area he must give way to now yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Oh, she have hallelujah hallelujah listen powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go yeah. hallelujah i see miracle everywhere miracle everywhere I see miracles everywhere right now, right miracles. We see miracles, Lord. We see miracles right now. Hallelujah! Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you, there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The roots, the roots of the issue. 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God. My God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activity in witches, in wizards, right now. Satan, in The devil must let you go tonight. Oh, Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three, Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your hands. Those those outside. Those outside, lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Come, go, 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 go,
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 I can't delay. I can't delay. I can't delay. Samata, Iparata, Limato Paria Catoda, Sipa Pata, Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel. 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 Please, let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, 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 time, your time has come. Please stand up. Stand up. Let's save time. I give the change. The chains falling. She let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now release her family now release her family now hallelujah look at me my brother I need to pray for you there's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! To break every chain. Break every chain. My brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you. Look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you I'm seeing this I live in the barracks you live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform hallelujah God is going to help you Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well. I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the curse 
this, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hand. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of marital delay. Leave God people now. 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 Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect it. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now, 
May the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, every devil, every demon, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every heart of witchcraft that has tied families, we release you right now. Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go! Go! Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go! Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Oh, te prende kitama baladabaya. Reto siha bakatanda gata. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? One, if it's... If you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains for you. Please hold my hands. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus look at me your family is not even you now you are a worker in this house and as a worker you are entitled to certain blessings huh? your family there is a cause of hardship upon your family your entire family hold my hands you must be free right now let her go representing her family in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I prophesy on everybody. 
whatever the devil has tied the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go be released now Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening. Many of you will leave this place. You will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of god will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wildfire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wildfire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. There is power in, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure. Or don't tell lies here, oh, please. You are the one? What is, what's your name? No, no, Salome, just wait here. You are the one? Salome. The, the meaning of your name I'm going to pray for you Salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray God wants to give your family breakthrough out of her now out of her out out right now out out of her out bring them she parata barrette prega de boxa li va so paria cavaria doste che parata ta i prato se palia na bako se che de pregadia preteste parata bako se che de leva si banda bako i set your family free right now by the fire of the holy ghost now be free now be free now be free out out be free in the name of the lord jesus 
may you become that treasure truly let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah please rise up I want us to pray I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week if we don't pray he's going to die hallelujah I'm not I'm not a prophet of doom God just interrupted this please stand up in one minute I'd like us to pray before we continue and say we refuse death I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead we plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people. And then maybe we can have a chair or something. Whatever it is. Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer oh, cases, whatever it is, genotype, Lord, don't worry, Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. 
from headache to infection no matter how little oh hallelujah jehovah rapha there is a god that heals in the house One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit. So just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm. If I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself, easy myself. The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg. 
will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah. 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 You've done for me what no one else can do. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. At this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at this, 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 are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. All right. Sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. 
whoever is responsible for any evil he will reap what he has sown be blessed in the name of jesus give jesus praise let's hurry up when jesus say yes nobody can say no when jesus say when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Ah, hold on. This is the devil. The devil is a liar and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed. And the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be begun? <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here, she would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That one. Is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. Please, kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In 
the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I will attend to everybody now. We'll be very, very fast so that we can save time. Worship him, please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro nane aje Israel. Aje Israel zin. She she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission, Abuja. So say so take a few. Ya leading ya in South South. Say ya a dog who do suggestion do keshi. So ka chile she the go fourth floor. Sing yet the shakasa. So ka karba kudi a wajeshi. Tun dezeba fourteen. Ya na pama a Israel. She ne asa na che. Am I naiki enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? Look at the young fadi. I'm sure that you're going to be a good one. 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 Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost. Kabala toza tabaranda galibata. Zidelem brashko brande kalabati la kabras te brasti satabala. Mande ke braske la tosko bari galaba. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege poche Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk every broken bone we mend it now thank you jesus mama you will return with a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you now get you on buyer hold on buying can make his office sometimes go go back come on i get the cafe harian as well at the cafe they call it sending cashier abi in Alsa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Hausa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kaduna, but we are walking in Kuba. Then it's a papa, but you are what? Ah, but you are what? You don't know what they are saying, just be just with them. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at. Look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. 
in the name of Jesus Christ it becomes permanent completely permanent in Jesus name and your son is healed and he will return in Jesus name I pray amen God bless you we have to hurry up Sam sing something else please my God is awesome he can move mountains keep me in the valley hide me from the rain my God is awesome heals me when I'm broke strength where I My God, heal now. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 collecting the prayer request very quickly start collecting the prayer request very quickly
as I pray for you, go back and check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles in the name of jesus christ be made whole in jesus name you will not fall they are supporting you please don't be afraid just follow me come don't be afraid don't be afraid just look at me look at me look at me sir look at me now come come just come just come 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 at this come on now koinonia celebrate jesus he's walking by himself don't worry you will not fall they are supporting you just come just come leave them that walk by yourself come come thank you jesus come come on koinonia he's walking by himself Exercising the leg.
change And nothing is the same Everything has changed Oh, for me, yeah Everything has changed, yeah
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah. it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Rata Lord, your grace 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light, real fast, bringing answers to prayers. For some of us, we will receive calls even tonight. Answers, answers, answers to prayers. Ah, just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord. And right before the prophet left the temple, answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto, shimile gam from siki parodos, sile branda karabados. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father. God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you. Wherever you are, please, as I pray, I want you to march forward. You'll be the first I'm going to be praying for. There are people here right now, others, you've given your life to Christ, but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom. And you're saying, Lord, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for everybody. Everyone has joined the kingdom. You are the only one left. I'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now. Celebrate them. God bless you as you come. People are coming. God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down in the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death, we command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They'll have your details and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Meke la bondele karatabaya. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, What shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny helpers share the word of the lord I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man de i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work, that same hand shall complete it. Whatever you and your family members have started, I don't care what the project is, whatever resource is required, receive the finisher's anointing. Receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. everyone trusting God for a godly relationship and marriage my Bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate I declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the God of heaven lives right now I release you. I command your exodus now. I command your exodus right now. For those trusting God for resources, you want to marry but you are tied down financially. And the Lord told Elijah, go to the brook Cherith. There a raven will come and feed you. We provoke the mystery of divine supply. He said, you shall not see the wind. You shall not see rain. But the valley shall be filled with water. I command supply right now. By the favor of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be supplies. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said, whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus. From today, whatever you do with these hands, may they be blessed. May they produce remarkable results. 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Amen. Scripture said, they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare, anyone marked for death here, or any family marked for death, either by witchcraft, bomb blast, assassins, or any kind of political wickedness, the blood of Jesus separates you from the spirit of death. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not by accident. Not by bomb blast. Not by terrorism. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, As for me and my house, I prayed for you. Now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said i bore him in sorrow and jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you jesus i pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Please lift your hands. Just, I just have one minute. There will be impartations right now. The anointing of the Spirit. All kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Prophetic anointings. Apostolic anointings. Healing anointings. Take it. Take it. Take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life I command it to come back alive now. Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. I call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven. Go and represent the value system of heaven. Go and be a light. Change people's situations. Speak over their lives. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. 
tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for 